Hello students, today we are going to start with a chapter expansions and very first of all we will go through all the identities which we are going to use in this chapter. And the very first identity which we have is the identity of a plus b to the whole square and that is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square here we are having this identity we can verify from where we have got this identity for doing so let's see the first what we were having in the beginning it was a plus b to the whole square and this can be written as a plus b into a plus b and that is equals to a into a plus b that is a into the whole bracket then plus b into this whole bracket now we can expand it and on expanding you get a square plus a b plus a b again plus b square and that is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square and that what we were having in the addend. The next one is a minus b to the whole square and that is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Then with the help of these two identities that is a plus b to the whole square and a minus b to the whole square we get few more identities that is suppose we take a plus b to the whole square plus a minus b to the whole square in this case if we add these two if we are going to add this identity and this one in this case we see that we are having a square plus a square b square plus b square but here plus 2ab and minus 2ab so they are going to cancel it out so we will be left with 2 for the a square and for b square so 2a square plus b square and if we subtract it a plus b to the whole square minus a minus b to the whole square in this case we are going to subtract these two so the same signs will be subtracted a square minus a square will be cancelled out b square minus b square will be cancelled out and this will be plus minus minus this will be plus so this will become 4 a b so here we have got the two more identities with the help of the sum and the difference of the above two identities now in place if in place of a and b we are having x plus 1 upon x to the whole square here we are having a in place of a we are having x in place of b we are having 1 upon x in such case we write x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 because 2 into x into 1 upon x x into 1 upon x will be cancelled out each other so we will be left with only 2 so x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 now in the sixth identity we are having for the minus if we are having x minus 1 upon x to the whole square then then x square plus 1 upon x square and in place of plus 2 we will be getting minus 2 and similarly if we add these two as we have did over here this will become x plus 1 upon x to the whole square plus x minus 1 upon x to the whole square will be equal to the sum of these two the sum of these two means this two will be cancelled out and will be left with the sum of this one that is 2 x square plus 1 upon 
x square. Now, for the difference of these two again, here in case of difference, we are going to subtract these two and the similar signs will be cancelled out and we will be left with plus 2 minus minus 2 that is plus 4. Now, we will go for the other identities. Now, here we are having the identity a plus b and into a minus b so that and on expanding this one you will be getting a square minus b square then here is to identify this one that is we are having the same terms that is a and b but we are having different signs in the different places now if we have if you have a question such as x plus a and x plus b in that case you'll be getting the expansion as x square plus a plus b with x plus a b here we are having the expansion with a uh, two terms with the same in the first two brackets but the next two are different in such case we are going to use this one now here in this question we were having only two brackets that is x plus a and x plus b and if we have three that is x plus a x plus b and x plus c then now in this case the expansion is x cube plus a plus b plus c to the whole square plus a b plus b c plus c a multiplied by x plus a b and c here we are having this identity in which we are having three brackets that is x plus a b and c and this one x q plus x a plus b plus c to the whole square and then a b b c c a with x and then a b c now here if we have the three terms and to the whole square in that case we have a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a b plus b c plus c a and this can be opened to that is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2c now here we have got the expansion of the square of the three terms now one thing i want to add for the three identities which we have written from question from 10 to 12 that in all the three identities we have to use the sign of a and b whatever the sign if it is plus then you are going to use the plus if it is minus then you are going to use the minus sign over here and none of the other identities which we have did till now we are going to do so but here we have to do here we have to use the sign of a b and so on otherwise you will be getting four different identities based on this and this one and so on for this one also so we use the signs of all of the three in the question now the next identity a plus b to the whole q in case of the q we have a q plus b q plus 3 a b and a plus b this can be expanded and this will become a q plus b q plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square we also have for the minus that is a minus b to the whole q and here it will be a q minus b q as we all know that the cube of a negative sign is negative so minus b q then minus 3 a into b because b is negative and when multiplied we got a minus sign and in a bracket a minus b 
now open this bracket and you will be getting a q minus b q minus 3 a square b and minus minus will be plus so it will become plus 3 a b square now with the help of these two identities we have a formula for a q plus b q and that is equals to a plus b and a square minus a b plus b square and for a q minus b q we have a minus b and a square plus a b plus b square and at the last we are having a q plus b q plus c q minus 3 a b c equals to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c and minus c but if uh, this identity a b c a plus b plus c is 0 if a plus b plus c becomes a 0 then a q plus b q plus c q will be equals to 3 a b and c that's all in this video and we will be doing the exercises in the next one thank you